first and foremost to talk about today. Um, how do you feel you played? Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I did pretty good. Um, it's quite uh, tricky with the shadows returning uh, Milos's serve, um, but I did a, did a pretty good job of that. Was timing the ball quite well. Uh, there's a few things I can still do better, I think. But you know, it was good to get for me to get two matches against two you know top players and Goffin and, and Ryanich. So uh, it's been been a productive couple of days. Next off to Doha, then Australia. I mean, the way your year and life is going at the moment, do you, you fancy your chances maybe going one better at the uh, Australian Open this time around? Well, I mean, I hope so. Every year I've gone there, I've felt like I've played well. I love the conditions there. They, they suit my game pretty good. But yeah, it's not managed to get over that, that final match. Uh, yeah, but hopefully this, this will be the year of 2016. Obviously finished uh, very well, so hopefully can bring some of that form into the beginning of, of 2017 and yeah, have a good run in, in Melbourne. Sir Andy Murray, how, how, how does it sound to you? Um, that's, that sounds strange, uh, obviously. Um, you know, it was a big, big honour, obviously, to to be asked. Um, great recognition for, you know, my, my results over the last few years. Um, and it was obviously a very nice way to finish 2016 or, or start uh, 2017. But um, I'm, I'm more than happy just being known as, as Andy. That's, that's fine, fine by me. You've had obviously an epic year that's been very well documented, and you know what a great way to kind of finish it off. I mean, when you sort of started out on this journey, when you were 14, you decided like that's it, I'm going to take on it. In your world, it's dreams that you'd kind of get to this level, you know, Olympic gold, Wimbledon champion, and now a knighthood, you know, at such a young age. I mean, it's incredible, really. Yeah, I mean, when I went over to Spain, it was never, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't sort of. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I dreamt, you know, I dreamt of winning Wimbledon or I dreamt of, you know, being number one in the world. Like, I didn't really. I, you know, when I went over to Spain, I went there to try to become a professional tennis player, you know, and give myself the best chance of doing that. And, you know, normally in tennis, it's sort of, you say top 100 is where you want to get to. That means you're playing on the main tour and most of the, the big events. And that was, you know, my first real goal that I had. And... You know, once you get to the top 100, then you say, OK, you know, want to get into the top 50 and, and, and so on. And um, yeah, never expected to do any of the things that, that I've done, um, you know, along with, with my brother. It's just, yeah, amazing that this happened to, to both of us. And, you know, it's taken, obviously, a lot of, lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifices to, you know, to get to, you know, the level we, we've got to. But, yeah, certainly never never expected to you know to do any any of the stuff I've done like historically you I suppose you're a bit of a kind of reluctant hero you know and, and yet you're so well loved and regarded within British society how how has your perception of your own role within British society kind of changed over those years from when you first kind of went into the limelight and has it if any if at all and has it sort of changed in terms of now now being given this title um, yeah, I think so. I mean, I still, you know, I'm still pretty shy in front of the cameras or, you know, I, I don't really know how to handle, like, sort of this side of what, what I do. You know, I love all the training. I love playing the, the, the matches and, and everything. I enjoy working hard and uh, you know, everything that comes with it, you know, still, you know, doesn't come naturally, you know, to me. And, yeah, it's just been a, a challenge kind of throughout my you know, my career, um, you know, in terms of how to handle the, the media and the press and all the, the extra things that come with sort of being a, a tennis player. But, you know, over the last few years, you know, started to feel a, a bit more comfortable um, doing it. And, yeah, in terms of how my, uh, my roles change in, in society, I just feel like when I step on the court, I try my best to, to win and represent my country um, as best as I can. And, you know, I've done, done a good job of that over the last couple of years in Davis Cup and Olympics and, and stuff, and hopefully I can keep doing that.